Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In this video I'm going to show you a money saving way to descale your kettle. To do this you'll obviously need your kettle, but you'll also need a 500ml jug or a pint glass and some citric acid. You can buy citric acid in the brewing section at Wilco, but to be honest with you it's cheaper to buy it on eBay. Um, I'll post a link in the description at the bottom of this video. Lime scale is the buildup of calcium carbonate on the inside of your kettle. It'll affect the flavour of your drinks and no one wants to find a bit of this in the drink if it peels off. This kettle's particularly bad. It's a spare, I just use it for um, heating water up for brewing. So to descale the kettle, the first thing we need to do is pour out 500 millilitres or near enough to a pint of water. Add that to the kettle. Close the lid and boil it. Once it's boiled, we're going to add one tablespoon of citric acid. So the citric acid should react with the calcium carbonate to produce calcium citrate, which is then soluble in the water. It'll also produce a bit of water and some carbon dioxide. So let's just see what happens, pour it in, and because the water's warm you can see it's reacting quite nicely in there, see it fizzing away, so I'm just going to give that a swirl. And then we'll leave that for 20 minutes or so and come back to it. Right, that's been about 20 minutes, so I'm just going to boil the kettle one more time. And then I'm going to pour out the liquid into my jug. So you should be able to see the inside of that kettle is now much, much better. It's not absolutely perfect, but there was a lot of scale in there. I'm probably going to have to do it again. Now you can also use a mix of vinegar and water for this, but the problem with it is that the kettle smells a little bit afterwards of vinegar, so you have to rinse it through three or four times afterwards, whereas with the um, citric acid, there's a mild lemon scent. I'll probably boil and discard one kettle full of water to get rid of that. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.